Hello everybody, welcome back to some more Scrap Mechanic. I, I just loaded the game up after doing like a couple hours of work, no, maybe not, maybe like an hour of work off camera, and I can't find my vehicle. I logged out somewhere on top of the mountain, but the game crashed as I was exiting, and so I just spawned right there, and I don't see it anywhere around, so maybe it's somewhere up the mountain? Because that was all the way at the top, so I'm, oh, there, there we go, speak of the devil. I found it. Alright, everything looks good. Oop, it looks like it's about to fall off. But you'll notice there are some improvements I made, uh, but we're going to take a closer look at that once I get into a little bit of a better position. Open this up. Ow. Excuse me. Close it. Oh yeah, the whole thing's kind of tilted. Okay. This thing... Oh no. I really do not want this to fall. Because I can't put this thing on a... Uh, on, on the lift. Because this is two separate things. Crap. Okay, let's try to back it up. No, <laughs> this sucks. Oh crap. Oh, we we gotta get out of here. Somehow. Okay, we're slowly going. Slowly but surely. Okay. Nope. Okay, there we go. Now we're back in the road. Right? Right? Why does it feel so weird? Like, is there something dragging? No, everything looks fine. <laughs> I don't know why it was doing that. Let's get up here onto the flat ground. Oh, I think that's the suspension making that squeaky sound. Okay, that makes sense. I'm gonna open that up. And check this out. So this is what I was having trouble with last time, but we got it to work. Um, I basically just redid it. And instead of lowering it, I just took parts off, then had the car go forward to it, and then I had a block down there that I was able to put these pipes on and then replace. To get the way it wants. So it's in there pretty well, I mean. Look at that. It shouldn't come off. I've gone over some big jumps and stuff, or some bumpy parts of the roads, and it stayed on, so I'm pretty happy with that. And then over here, we got this guy. So it didn't, didn't uh, change anything off of our little bugger. Uh, since the last episode, but I did work on the trailer, so I widened it uh, in case we ever want a wider vehicle And I lengthened it and I added this little thing. There we go Works pretty well, and then we can hop back in this guy Go for a ride. I mean as long as I don't try it. That was that was totally on purpose. That's so cool As long as I don't try to do super fast turns it works great Like I'm enjoying the kind of rear powered re rear turning. Let's load that back up. Ow. Yeah, if I take that at too high of a speed, he kind of slams into it. Then we can close it up. Yeah, and even even this thing stays in there over bumps and whatnot. Uh, this this part, I might raise one more. I don't know, I'm just worried about it falling out, but I think it looks super cool. Add, uh, re added some decoration stuff we got our AC. And the electrical box, which is currently upside down, I just realized. There's the engine to our main thing, because I did add something inside. Uh, this is all old stuff you guys saw. I uh, found this little sign, warning falling objects. I thought it was pretty funny. I don't know if did he die and turn into a ghost or what's going on there, but it's pretty, pretty cool. And then I added these. I know there are uh, actual seats of uh, these things. Actually, how would these look? Those might actually work there. I thought they were way bigger than this, like the car seat, but these might actually work. Uh, I don't think it's going to fit there. Oh, it's because the controller's in the way. Oh, well, that's something we can do later. Boop, take that out. And what do we got here? We've got the bathroom. We've got our toilet. And we've got our sink. And our, paper, and our uh, toilet paper rolls. And then we have that. Because uh, because it's stinky in here, I guess. <laughs> so, don't go in here. There you go. Bathroom humor. The most mature of all humor. But I have a cool idea of what I want to do today. Ooh, and we have the little valve. Doesn't really do anything. Uh, let's find a better place to go build. Let's try and get off this mountain. It's a little too wild for me. Fortunately, this is the furthest I can zoom out, so if I want to check on the trailer, I kind of got to look backwards. But it's pretty fun just driving in first person like this. Do, 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 do. As long as I don't go over anything huge. How do I get off this mountain? <laughs> well, I guess I could go back the way I came, but there's got to be another way off, right? So far, all I see is it going up. 
That squeaking kind of bugs me. The suspension. Hmm. And no one appreciated my joke. Uh, people were asking when I first built this thing, like, you need to put suspension on. And I was like, oh, I'm simply building suspense. Ha 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 ha. See, normally I would just drive off there, and even if the vehicle flips, it's not going to get damaged or anything, but now, <laughs> either it's going to come unhitched, or, uh, wow, we're going so slow now, or the little bugger is going to go flying off. I don't know why I keep calling it bugger, I guess this, the word is buggy, but just for fun I'm going to call it the little bugger. Or I could name it like I name everything in video games, just call it Cormac. Let's be completely uncreative. Okay, let's go... I don't have the engine on full power, uh, just because cruising speed at full power is a little fast. I have it just at almost full power, if that makes sense. I have it on the notch below full power. Okay, is this hill going to be okay? Yeah, see, it works so well. Gosh. That's what I love about this game. There are bugs and stuff. It is very early access, but for the most part, everything just works. This is an awesome spot. We're going to park here. God, it's so cool. Oh, and I did raise the ceiling, so I no longer get stuck going in and out of my seat. Boink. Okay, and open the... Ugh, <sighs> swear to God. Why? Why? Oh, jeez, what? <laughs> so that's happened a few times. I don't think it's on my end. I, I don't know why it does that. <laughs> no, it's going the completely wrong way. Okay, can we close it? <laughs> what did it do that for? It's not supposed to do that. Okay, there we go. And it's fixed. But once again, okay, this happened earlier. And the orange pieces on the top. Last time they ended up, yep, there they are. They ended up on the top. I don't know how that happened or why. Frankly, it's pretty funny. Uh, is that gonna be... No, one more, and then the orange piece. That is wood. Don't want wood there. <laughs> That's so crazy. Okay, let's put these back. Bam, 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 bam. Yeah, that's definitely not on my end. Last time I thought it was this little thing that was, it was getting caught up on, but it's not, because it's not even there anymore. It's so weird. <laughs> that's up there now. Especially because that's the second time that's happened. What is that? I don't remember putting that there. Oh, I think I was, t I had to, yeah, I had to make some lifts and stuff to try and get this to work. I was using, um, things to push other things, but I ended up just being able to drive in there. It ended up working out. But I do, finally, we're getting to what I want to do today. I want to make, so you see when people have RVs and stuff, they'll have the awnings that kind of come out, and you can just, like, get a, get a lawn chair and, um, some... A lawn chair and like, I don't know, like an outdoor TV and a grill and they just kind of have a barbecue. So I want to get, I want to build a retractable awning that'll kind of pop out and maybe lower legs to look to try and support it. I think that'd be really cool. But to do that, we're going to have to get on top. So we're going to have to use the jack a few times. So let's grab this. Actually, let's close that door. We don't need to get inside. The jack. And up we go. Okay. <laughs> There's this thing up here. I guess we can delete it. That's so weird. I don't know. The weirdest thing is that so that's a very strange bug, but the fact that it happened to me twice, it replicated itself, is very, very odd. So I want the awning just for this back half here. Okay, so let's let's get the uh, materials I'll be needed. I want metal block, need bearing. What, what material do we want for the awning? We have. Metal window, ventilation grid. I think metal would, window would be cool. Let's try that or this ventilation grid. Uh, bearing, we're good there. Okay. And then we got to connect. That should be all we need. Let's see, and I just want it to be like this middle section. Do we want the whole thing? No, let's just start there. Okay, and then that. Oh wait, we're we gonna need that. Okay. Oh yeah, here we go. So we do that, and then connect that up. There is that. That's facing the wrong way. Come on. There we go. Let's just test it with one. Actually, <laughs> don't no no need to build the whole awning. Ooh, forgot the bun. Until we get this figured, and we'll need a controller. 
Uh, so for now, just so it's easily accessible. Put that there. Put that there. Connect that to that. Controller to that. And we'll, it's going... Counterclockwise, right? Yeah, clockwise. Oh yeah, so counterclockwise. It's going to go 180 degrees. So now if we press that button... There we go! Awesome! So that works super well. Uh, do we want it to go all the way over? Because right now it's right there. But then you'd see that on the edge. Hmm. We'll see how it looks from the bottom. But for now, let's put the rest up there. Um, do we want it longer than that? I think three should be good for now. And then we're going to put these. It's facing the wrong way. I can already tell. There we go. Nope. There we go. Okay, now if we push the button, hopefully it doesn't knock us off. Whoa! <laughs> okay, that does not need to be as fast. Let's slow that down a little bit. Hmm, it's, see how it's like warping just because it's so heavy on that end? It, I don't think it's because it's a block, I think. Yeah, because that ends up being supported. So can we support it? Is that possible? So if you do that, that, and just kind of replicate what we have over there. Ah, I was, I was on top of it for a second. Okay, that actually looks like it's working. Ah! Damn it, I fell. That's actually not a bad looking awning. And then... E! It's gonna bring it back up. That's not bad looking at all. Um... I do want to make it so it's nice and symmetrical, though. Beam me up! Hey. Yeah, let's go ahead and move that, 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 put that there, that there, connect that there. Now the question is, is it going to register that as connected or not? Negative 180. Where's my mouse? There it is. Boop. No, it is not. What? Dang it, the whole thing got disconnected. Okay. Fine. That there. That there. Now it's on. Oh, why is it going the wrong way now? That's weird. Did it switch directions? Okay, pretend it's over here. It goes up there. And that's off. That's weird. It did switch directions. Okay. Fine, be that way. Oh, it's not gonna let me be symmetrical because it. Oh, okay, it wants to center that thing. Oops. There we go. Okay. Uh, okay. Um, I guess that's okay. Boom, boom, boom. Now. Okay, that's not going to look as good. Dang it. Up. Oh. But we'll at least be able to support this side. Uh, let's bring it back, but we've got to get out of its way. Ah, oh, crap, it's on top of the button, isn't it? Ah! Don't want to get crushed by it. Okay, so it's... One there. One there. One there. And let's see how far away can we press it. Hey. Okay. Ah, uh, it still doesn't look 100% great. But I think it's just because the physics are conflicting. Okay, um... Let us take this, and this, and this. And where should we put the button? So it's gonna come down here. Yeah, let's put it right here. And controller. I guess we just tuck inside. I'll just put it right there. And that goes to that. That goes to this outside switch. And then we gotta program this controller to do plus one eighty. Come on, switch it. There you go. 
180. And now... Oh, what the, what's the problem here? What's, what's the issue? It, it was literally just working. Oh yeah, there we go. Now we got it working. <laughs> I think for some reason the it reversed the yeah the angle. Maybe because I moved it. I don't know. But there we go. We got the awning done. And now it's not enough that I just have it covered there. What I want to do, hmm, I want to like a support to come down to kind of look like it's holding it up, just mostly for looks because I think it'll be cool. So let's get rid of this stuff. We don't actually we probably still need the bearing and the button. Actually, no, it's gonna be all connected. Okay. Oh, uh, let's use the same pipes that we were. Let's do that. Corner pipe. The same ones I used here. I, li I like these, they're easy to work with. So we're gonna have uh Do we want it on that side or this side? Ooh, I wonder if we could do two. So we have one swing down there. I'll just do one for now. So let's actually have it on the other side. Put it right there. And there. Okay, but we need to hook that up to this controller. And this one, and we want it to turn 90 degrees? No, that's the wrong way. Okay. <laughs> Negative 90 degrees. Come around. There you go. And then we want these to go there. Can I get another one? Where did I just put that? Oops. My bad. Um, ooh, I know. I'll just do... Oh, man. That works perfectly. Is it gonna hold? Is it gonna, like, snap off? How far is it hanging off? It's hanging off by one, but it's not horrible. Okay, let's add another one. Ooh, is that gonna be too long? And let's stand back and watch. Ba -ba -da -ba. Oh! Jeez. <laughs> it did not like that. But I think just a short one would be too short. Let's test it. Because this is only half the size, right? So actually, it looks. Is it a third the size? So we could have tested that right then. Okay, can I, can I, no, dang it, I was hoping I could put it on there before for the direct around. Okay, another short one. <laughs> I'm sure you guys are getting sick of watching this. There we go, it, oh, that is perfect. Oh, man, we did that perfectly. That's so cool. Now, how could I get, ooh, I could have a fold down from there. Okay, let's try this. Bearing. Ooh, is that gonna work? I don't know if it's gonna be long enough. Let's test it, cause this is one, two, three, four long ones. Oh, we should probably hook that up first though. One, two, three. No, that's not gonna work, cause it's gonna hit that. Okay, take that bearing. And when that's folded up there... Ooh, okay, how about this? That. Pipe. That. No, we need a bearing there. And then hook that one up. 
And that's the fourth one, right? Yes, so then that's going to be negative 90 as well. Nope. Oh, it's facing the wrong way. Stupid angles. Gosh. Oh, that's perfect. Okay. And then we need... Oh, yeah, let's just put it back so it'll be easier to do it the other way. So they both go up and swing back. Man, that's so cool. Okay, and from here we can do one, two, three, four, and then two shorts. It doesn't even look that bad tucked up there. It adds some detail, I think. It looks cool. Okay, swing it around. Then lower those. Why did this one not lower? Is it stuck? Yeah, jeez, okay. <gasps> okay, it's not like in this. Things are getting stuck. Give it a good smack. Can I take that off? Oh, jeez, okay. Oh, the computer's not liking that. Oh, okay, game's lagging. Okay, game. I know you're not super happy. <laughs> wow, my frame rate took a huge dive there. What the heck? Okay, oops, I heard it go. What? Oh, something snapped off up there. What the heck? Okay, where's my lift? Up we go! Nope, I fell off. Come back down. And up we go! Whoa, okay, yeah. Something bad happened here. Okay, we got, yep, conflicting blocks. Okay, we need to get these out. Okay, it did not like that. Uh, let's see, should it even try to make it? It worked fine with one. So maybe we'll do with just one. Let's see, where do those pieces go? Oh, I took the tire. No, do not want to do that. Big tire, big tire, big tire. Oh, come on, get up, you. This is a trick I learned from when I was doing that one. Oh, that's not gonna work. Stupid suspension. I can't put this thing on a jack. Damn it. Come on, you. <sighs> Alright, one problem at a time. Let's see, are those, me yeah, those metal pieces are still <laughs> in the ceiling. <laughs> actually, did that help? Putting that down? No. Let's see if we can actually make it go anymore. So kind of act as our jack. Look at that! Oh, that's so cool. I'm I'm a genius, guys. God, it's so hard being so smart all the time. You know. Okay, close that up. Well, I'm gonna try and rebuild that awning and try and get it to work. I don't I don't know. We'll see. But anyway, guys, that's it for this episode of uh, Scrap Mechanic. Leave a like if you did enjoy. I want to see more in the future. I'll see you next time. Bye.